What's good y'all? Welcome back to the channel today. We got the first video of 2023. Um, we were supposed to upload one yesterday, but I low-key didn't have time. So there's that. But I'm over in Riverside, California for the first video of the year. Um, and we're going to Riverside Book Off. Um, it's a pretty new location, I believe. So I'm pretty excited to see what they have. Um, and for the question of the day, let me know, what is your uh, 2023 New Year's resolution? When it comes to, you know, collecting anime figures, manga, light novels, all of that. Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, let's just get right into the video. So if you don't know what Book Off is, Book Off is a retail chain in Japan that specializes in pre-owned items. Whether it be figures, uh, manga, light novels. They even have selections of CDs, used books. A bunch of used items basically and they're a chain from japan that happens to have a lot of locations over in california they have one in gardena they have one in costa mesa now they have one in riverside they have some in uh, torrance as well and they're actually opening a new one up in little tokyo which is uh, very exciting because they specialize in anime merch for that um, for that location. But what sets this uh, location apart, the Riverside location apart from the rest, is to be honest, the figure selection was pretty diverse. I saw a lot of figures that I had never seen before, and even though me personally, it wasn't like the series that I appreciate, it was cool to see some figures that I had never seen before. I mean, over here, if you look, they had a bunch of Figmas, a bunch of Nendoroids, and they even had a Yotsuba Nendoroid here, which I had never seen before. What the? $500? What? $500 for what? Another thing that I think will uh, set this book off apart from the rest is how clean it was and how spacious it was. I mean, if you look at the shelves over here that I'm looking at, it's very nice glass cases. Uh, usually in book offs, they have like these gray shelves that look kind of dull, which are right here, as you can see. But yeah, it's very clean, very spacious, and there's not really a lot of traffic at this location right now, so it's a pretty chill place to go and look around. Um, and the staff were very attentive as well, uh, talking about their buyback program and other things. Um, but as you can see here, my, uh, my girlfriend with a Karen Araragi figure, she was very proud of finding that Karen Araragi figure because we're actually watching Monogatari together right now. But yeah, um, another thing that I noticed about this book off, um, especially in the figure section and uh, the manga section, was that you needed to dig around like really well in order to find like some good things like they have stuff hiding in the back of the shelves which i wouldn't have found if i didn't look through uh, over there was a sayaka um it's like one of those sitting figures not sitting figures but it's one of those block figures that are like 30 dollars. they had a hachikuchi over here um they had some idol master stuff and some love life stuff they have the usual like suspects a lot of idol stuff um some monogatari stuff some fate stuff but then there were those like certain things that you don't see in certain book offs like here they had some jujitsu kaisen nendoroids uh even if it was missing some parts and it was 80 dollars for gojo but that's okay um, they also had a bunch of slime figures here, I noticed, a bunch of slime merch. Uh, not sure what that was about, but if this was me from, like, six months ago, I definitely would have, like, you know, bought some of the figures. Um, but yeah, you gotta do some digging when you're at this location, because they like to keep things organized and keep things pretty tidy, so they're stacked pretty neatly, and, you know, just look in the back and maybe you'll find something. Um, they also had a bunch of shikishi boards, a bunch of, you know, small merch items that you might not find. And one of my favorite parts was that you could actually look in the uh, shelves below. Um, me personally, I didn't know that about book offs. I don't know if other locations will let you uh, look through the shelves, but um, you might find something that they don't even have up on the shelf in these. So that's pretty cool to see. Oh, what the fuck? They have rent a girlfriend. Moving on to what everyone wanted to see, uh, the manga section was here, and they had a very good selection. Um, they had both sides. Every part of the shelf was packed. There was nothing like any gaps. 
like they do in certain lo- that, that they have in certain locations. Um, and yeah, it was a very organized section and it was very nice to browse through. <gasps> they have it! But it's $16. No! Yeah, they're all $16. Nah, this is crazy. $49.50 for the season 2 box set? Do you have it? I do have it. <laughs> but that's crazy. <laughs> uh, I got it for 60 but usually it's like 120 So for 50 bucks is crazy. Because they have new game here too. <laughs> new game! They have a, a Silent Voice box set here. Usually it retails for $76.93, but you can get it on a deal here for $75.99. Yo. Yo. Usually this is $77.94 and you can get it for $76.99. But uh, this is pretty cool. Slime box set, one through six. I didn't know. Um, the one thing that I do like about this book off is that I can open, open the bottom parts here. Um, I'm not even sure if I can do that at other book offs, but maybe, but I haven't done it before. This is the first time I've done it and it's pretty cool. All right. So I was joking earlier about like the box sets having good deals, but this is actually a good deal. If you're into fairy tale, it's $38.99. And then I looked under and retail is like $110 for this is box set six, and then this one over here is also $38.99 for box set five. That's kind of crazy. And like I mentioned, they had box sets here, a bunch of them, for pretty good deals. Um, I was joking on the earlier ones, but if you looked at some of the box sets, there were some insane deals here. Um, me personally, unfortunately, I didn't really find uh, much that I was interested in, but they did have also other manga that I had never seen on book off shelves before. They had the Higurashi manga. They even had Umineko. Uh, Umineko is something that I've never seen in a book off, and that was absolutely crazy to see it. Um, I plan to play the visual novel, by the way. Um, I know it's pretty long, but we'll get through it. Um, but yeah, uh, one thing that I did notice in uh, this book off is that the light novel section was very small, limited to only uh, one shelf or maybe even one part of the shelf. So if they could improve upon that, that would be pretty good. Um, they also didn't have a dedicated art book section like some locations do. The Gardena one does. I know that. Um, and it's something that um, separates book offs from one another is if they have a dedicated light novel section and then here's me just uh scouring through the shelves again uh pulling uh the drawers out and digging through seeing if i could find anything i unfortunately didn't but i think it's really cool that i'm able to just you know pull these out and uh you know see what's not on the shelf or what they weren't able to stock but overall this book off was pretty great um the potential is there and um i would definitely come back if it was not over an hour away from me because I don't think that I would be in in this area very often but when I'm around here I'll definitely be dropping by and I hope that um, you know they stock up on some more different things uh, some stuff that I like I know uh, pretty selfish but this this store has some potential to be great um, but yeah the manga section was really well kept uh, a lot of space, like I said, and not a lot of foot traffic, so it was a very nice uh, browsing experience. And they had a bunch of, yeah, like, not very well-known manga. Oh, and one more thing. Um, I kind of wish that the discounts were better because uh, some of these were used, but they're only like a dollar or two off. You know, maybe like three, but I get it. All right, uh, so we finished up at Book Off and... I don't know, there wasn't really anything that piqued my interest, but this store does have a lot, and I mean a lot of potential. Um, I don't know how often I'll be here because Riverside is pretty far from where I live, but 
it was a, it was a pretty cool place. Um, I think if, you know, I was more, what am I looking here to say? I think if I was more willing to spend money that I would have bought something here, but there wasn't something that I really, really love. So we ended up not buying anything, but yeah. Uh, thank you for watching the video. I appreciate you supporting and hopefully this is a good 2023 for the channel. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.